All right, what's up guys and welcome back to part two of our LS build. We'll, uh, we'll start getting this thing moving uh, a little bit quicker, I guess. I don't know. So, last video we did, uh, we checked a couple of the bearings for the rods. Now we're checking the bearings for the crank. I had the crank cleaned up. Use some uh, thousand grit wet dry sandpaper and then some 800 grit uh, like buffing pads, scuffing pad I guess you call it. Uh, scuffing pad first and I came back with the uh, with the 1000 grit wet sand paper wet dry sand paper so now I'm putting the uh, main caps on with the bearings and checking the bearing clearance on that I've done one so far we're between 15 and 20 thousandths which is in spec uh, I think I'm gonna have to look it up I don't remember exactly what it was but let me check yeah so for the main bearings between 8 and 25 thousandths of an inch uh, we're between 15 and 20, which is where they say industry standard. So that's on the first one. We got four more to check. Uh, so I'll kind of give you guys, I'll show you what to do to check that. We use a plastic gauge once again. Yeah, you can bring it to a machine shop and have them mic everything and check the clenches and all that. you be spot on. But this is a budget build, so we're not going to spend all kind of money doing something like that. So uh, let's just let's get to it. So. See how hard it is to zoom in. Come on. Alright, so as you can see here, barely, there is some plastic gauge right on top of that thing. So, what we're going to do is, same thing we did last time, we're going to go ahead and put our bearing on the, the main cap itself, put it on there, torque it down to spec, we'll pull it off and check it. Uh, it's just that's how they do it, so let's get to it. All right, so we got our first, we got all our bolts kind of put in there hand tight for the most part. We're gonna come back, we're going to torque them to 15 pounds, starting with the inside ones, we're gonna wait to the outside ones. And then after that, and then we use our torque to angle, I think it's what it's called, to actually get the right torque on these bolts. So, should be too bad. All right, so I find it a little bit easier to use this tool. See if you can kind of get a look at it. So it's got degree markings on there and whatnot. Uh, I find it easier for the, the two inner bolts to use an actual shorter socket. It's easier to do on the outside, but the outside's got the little studs on them, so you cannot actually put a shorter socket on there. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to torque them right. But for the inner ones, I think it's uh, 80 degrees, and the outer one's like 53 degrees, so we'll get that. So we're zeroed out. This piece here actually holds that into place. So when we turn, this problem is just starting to turn a little bit, but it will lock in. So we can get that thing to lock into place right about there. So now as we turn, just this dial is going to turn 80 degrees. Boom. All right, that was done. And then we'll do the same with this one. You want to get this thing to lock into place somewhere so it does not move. Maybe easier to come on the back side, catch the back of the main cap itself. Lock that into place. This tool, I don't know, I would not advise you to buy one of these. There's better tools out there for that, but for a. There we go. Oh, that's 70. 80. Alright, so. Put something in your garage, yeah, go for it, you know. I won't buy another one of those. I will buy a better tool next time, but like I said, this is a budget build, so. We'll do the outside ones next, and then we'll go ahead and pull the cap off. So, I may have made a mistake, shall I say. Come on, let's go, get out of here. Can't go anywhere anyway, come on. Come on, Bubba, what's up, dude? You back home, you excited to be back home? I'm excited to be back home. Hi. So, I made a little bit of a mistake. When I was recording the last video for the cam bearing clearance, I accidentally didn't record the end of it. So, I don't have a picture of what to show you, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Google image and I'm just gonna slap it up right here and I'm gonna tell you. Uh, so, all of my main bearings uh, all spec out like 15 thousandths of an inch, which is at spec, I think nine to 25 or something like that. 
That's the exact. So on the mains, it's between eight and 25 thousandths. And on the rods, between nine and 25 thousandths. I was at 15 thousandths for all of them, which is right dead in the center. So uh, I'm actually pretty impressed to say that a motor with 200,000 miles on it has that has been built that well, I guess, you know? And, and I don't think the small blocks, although I haven't messed with too many of them, I don't know, 200,000 miles of small block, I feel like you'd have to take that in and have the crank uh, turned down, whatever it is, the, the rod, whatever it is, you'd have bigger bearings, you'd have to do something. I'm impressed so far, the rods and the crank uh, bearings have been almost dead on, so I don't have to do anything with that. Hey, I don't know. So, I'm impressed. At the end of the day, I'm impressed. So, uh, this is just gonna end this video for now. I'm sorry I didn't film the rest of it. I feel like an idiot. Uh, I will put a picture up, like I said, or well, actually, you already seen this picture. Uh, and uh, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna actually start our second, or third part of this video today. Uh, so, this will be here, and the new video will be here, or whatever it is. So, uh, I appreciate it, guys. I'm sorry I dropped the ball on this one, but. Uh, we're gonna get back and we're gonna keep rolling. So uh, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, whatever you gotta do guys, leave a comment. I will answer you uh, and I will see you next time. Appreciate it.